Welcome back to Britain's Got Talent, the champions. Next up is Stavros Flatley. <laughs> they are the father and son duo who were an instant hit when they appeared on this show back in 2009. Since then, they've performed for the Queen and were even booked for Simon Cowell's birthday party. Wow, that must have been a hoot. Yes. How many people were at Simon Cowell's birthday party? Three. Including Stavros Flatley? Yes. Oh, wow. BGT 2009 finalist, it's Stavros Flatley! You may have come here thinking you know all about Greek gods and goddesses. However, here in Cyprus resided two of the most iconic heroes under the planet's gaze. I'll tell you the story of Stavros Flatley. In the ancient times of 2009, there was a vast amphitheater called the Hammersmith Apollo. Inside was a god, a goddess, and a man named Piers Morgan. This was to be the setting where one man and one boy were to begin something that would send shockwaves through the ancient and modern world. Their warrior-like physiques had the emblem of this fair land Cyprus embossed on their skin. This is one of my favorite ever dance acts. You have the most fantastic relationship, don't you? How much do you look up to your dad and enjoy, enjoy what he does? I look up to him so much, he's just a role model. Uh -huh. Postcards, wigs, key rings, their popularity knows no bounds. Although they were not victorious in the final battle, the legends are returning for their second chance to prove their place amongst the gods. Tonight, Stavros Flatley's coming back. Fitter, faster, and fatter. We're back. <laughs> Drink. 
Got you, Brett. David, let's start with you. Wow. <laughs> wow. us feel but I want to say this show is amazing we've been all over the world we've done things and places we never thought we'd be and it's because of you guys thank you I, went, I, mean, I watched them grow up from here to here and I ain't never been so proud as I am now thank you so much and thanks for everything I've got to thank my dentist in Bathurst. He's amazing. I've got the same team as Simon now. Look. Dr. Fafaris in, in Bathurst. Amazing. <laughs> so, thanks to the Pathos dentist, uh, judges. It, finally, it's over to you. David. <laughs> this, for me, is what this show is all about, which is ordinary people getting up and having a go, right? And it turns out you're two ordinary guys with a huge talent to entertain people. And the moment you walked out, every single person in this room has got a great big smile on their face and they're laughing. I mean, in my opinion, you may not have won Britain's Got Talent, but you are probably the most iconic Britain's Got Talent act. For the heart and soul of this show, and you make everyone feel good. What a great thing! What a great performance! And I'm really emotional too. <laughs> Funny, crying, everything. I will never forget the moment we first saw you. And next to having my children, it was probably one of the most joyous moments of my entire life. You smashed it again tonight, boys. I adore you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I will never forget that moment when, when you guys came out. Um, well, I'm thinking, what the bloody hell is this? I'd like tonight, the same thing happened. It was like the crowd went crazy. I've wanted to say this to you for years. I've really wanted to thank both of you for everything you've done. No, no, forget me. I want to be able to thank you, and I, there's one way I can do this. It's, it's going to sound weird, but it's true. You've just been given Simon Cowell's golden buzzer. How do you feel? When, whenever you need us, forever we'll be there. If I have to come on this stage on a mobility skewer, I will come. <laughs> Come back and perform for us in the grand final of Britain's Got Talent, the champions. It would be an honour and a pleacher. Stavros Flatley, we'll see you, you in the.